Hey guys, I'm Alan. Uh, this is Revival Cycles, and we are really pleased to be contributing to the Harvest Classic this year, 2020. Uh, Harvest Classic for me, just to share with you guys a tiny bit, uh, means something. I was a child that was born with cancer. For you that don't know who I am, I've got goofy eyes. Uh, I've got one eye. I was born with retina cancer, and my eye was removed. Uh, and it was a childhood cancer and a charity that actually helped us or helped my mom to get me surgery. Anyway, if you don't know, Harvest Classic donates a good portion of their, or their funds to the Candlelighters Foundation, which is for kids with cancer, and that resonates with me. Also, we're pretty much into motorcycles. Um, my story with the Harvest Classic is that I've been going there for uh, a very long time, maybe near the beginning, uh, always inspired, uh, well before I ever was in the business of motorcycles. And it most definitely played a role for me personally, um, seeing all the enthusiasts and all the great bikes. Uh, it, it just, it's been a lot to me over the years. And uh, we're really glad to support Harvest like we do every year, but we wanted to uh, kind of contribute by showing you guys a little bit of our workshop and sharing with you what's going on right now and what our newest tool. What I thought I'd do is give you guys kind of a mini tour and walk you through the shop and show you our newest, best tool. We've had it for about a year and a half or so, uh, but it's still pretty cool. So in 2010, I signed the lease on this space and we built it out. Out that way is a CNC machine shop that we built at, like that first year. And then the, like the second year, we took over this second bay. We built this out as the kind of main workshop area. Then Vincent's, Harley's, Gucci's, Ducati's, you name it. There's a pre-war Bruff Superior and another Triumph and another modern Gucci. That's our uh, fabrication area for metal shaping uh, and machining. This is bay, th we're going over into bay three now. Uh, back through there is the machine shop, our more machines, a welding area, and this way, if you come back here, is our new favorite tool. Not our cool new uh, lathe, but our dyno. And what Chris is going to do is talk to you guys about how to tune on a dyno and one of the services we offer, but more importantly, our approach to tuning motorcycles in general. You ready for that? Let's do it. I'm going to leave you alone. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, Chris Davis here in the Revival Cycles Workshop. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about dynos. We have a, an Axis dyno here in the workshop and a dyno uh, is a tool that we use and it measures engine output. It measures how quickly a specific weight is accelerated and you do that by basically riding a motorcycle to spin a drum. There's sensors inside of it that measure how quickly it accelerates. So the benefits of dyno tuning is it provides us with a controlled environment so we don't have traffic, road conditions that are affecting how we're tuning or riding motorcycles. And we also have repeatable and comparable results by using horsepower and torque numbers from the engine uh, and then also utilizing the sensors on the dyno such as the wideband O2 sensor to see if our, our bikes are running rich or lean or what we can do to make them run better. And another added benefit is it allows us to run a motorcycle under a load. The Axis Dyno that we have simulates a real road environment. It has inertia weights on the drum, which simulates load such as riding your motorcycle down the road. And then it also has a built-in fan. And the faster the wheel spins, the more drag there is. So it recreates aerodynamic drag, such as riding at high speeds. And then the other way the, the fan, the airflow is utilized on the Axis Dyno is the air is channeled underneath the dyno through ductwork. And the ductwork is used to blow onto the motorcycle. So when we have an air-cooled motorcycle, it actually cools the motorcycle while you're riding. Dynos are, are typically used to get maximum power out of modern sport bikes and race machines. But here at Revival, we use them for vintage bikes and the benefit is we can actually tune and adjust the carburetors and we're not just looking for maximum power, we're looking for the best rideability. We can control the load on the dyno itself and then through different throttle openings we can adjust different parts. For example, different parts of the carburetor on this Vincent. We can make changes to the needle or the main jet or the idle circuit and look at our wideband O2 sensor and see exactly where we need to add fuel or subtract fuel. One of the 
main reasons we have this Axis Dino was during the birdcage build, we knew we were gonna have a very tight deadline. Uh, we knew that there was no fueling support, there's no, the fuel injection system we were using is not supported by BMW or anybody else. So we were gonna have to start from scratch. Uh, we knew that there was gonna be many, many, many hours of tuning to make the birdcage run and ride. So we invested in the dyno and then spent many hours um, creating fuel maps and ignition maps and testing the shifter and the drive line and just making sure that the bike would actually run and ride before we took it on the roads. On the dyno right now, we have a 1949 Vincent Rapide. A client of ours purchased at auction several years ago. And then we went through basically the entire bike, rebuilding front suspension, the top end of the motor, replacing the camshafts, uh, adding a Ducati clutch, and just a lot of other fit and finish details um, to turn it into a very reliable rider. So part of making sure that this Vincent was a good running riding machine was getting it on the dyno and tuning it, adjusting the carburetors, making it run and ride best as it possibly can. So after doing a few dyno pulls, we can look at the data for this Vincent. Uh, one of the first things to, that I like to look at is the air fuel ratio. So air fuel ratio is a measurement of how much unburnt fuel is in your exhaust. So you typically have a range of 10 to 1 to 16 to 1. The less unburned fuel, the lower the number, the more unburned fuel. So looking at this bike, 9.6 to 1 pretty consistently, which is rich, which is very rich. But on an air-cooled uh, motorcycle like this, less concern. The more fuel, the more cooling ability that fuel has. Now we could go back, change the main jet, and see what that does to our air-fuel ratio. So looking at the rest of the data for the dyno chart is Looking at engine torque, which is this number here, uh, and then horsepower, which is this number here. So looking at the torque first, it's a relatively flat curve. We have a bit of a dip here in the 3,000, 3,500 RPM area, and then it picks back up. Overall, it's very flat torque curve, which is what I would expect from a 1,000 cc V-twin. And then looking at the horsepower numbers, they climb pretty consistently. So there's no big dips in the horsepower curve, which is really good, and they're consistent. So we're looking at three different dyno runs. And again, that's the, the benefit of dyno tuning is we have three separate dyno runs to compare and see if there's any variants uh, run to run, such as temperature or fueling issue, or as long as the numbers are relatively close, then we know the bike's running consistently. So after looking at the data for this bike, um, very impressed with how much power it's making. It definitely is running a little rich. Uh, I'd say we change the main jet, go a little bit smaller, see how it behaves. But in, in conclusion, having this information that quickly without having to spend hours riding a motorcycle or guessing, um, making changes and then riding again is just a, a much faster and more efficient way to make a motorcycle more enjoyable to ride. Now's the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not gonna ask you for that. What I'm gonna say to you is, if you wanna see more videos and you wanna learn more of what we've learned, and you wanna see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like, Kick ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.